Moving on from there, I know this is a team that you are ready to discuss the UCF Knights. Gus Malzahn is now in town. Uh, he got paid $20 million to stop coaching Auburn, and now he gets probably the best job in G5, I yeah. guess. Uh, I every, think so. Like, everybody talked about a decline for them last season. Their three regular season losses were all one-score games to Tulsa, Memphis, and Cincinnati. Yeah. Great, uh, great team. It, but it, their defense was completely shellacked by injuries and COVID and opt-outs and everything else. It was... It was just a disaster, and they still only lost three regular season games by one score apiece. Right. Like, they were right there with everything else. I, I think Malzahn coming in is going to give them a little bit more life. Um, their win total is at nine and a half. You know, over is juiced at minus 115, under juiced the exact same. They are second for the conference championship odds at plus 400. SP Plus got them going nine and three. FBI's got them going eight and four, but that is more like percentage chance of winning losing games it's tough to get to uh, a double digit number for a lot of these uh Malzahn got paid you know a bunch but he at, he looks like he's got fire I'm curious does uh Dylan Gabriel fit into his offense I think Malzahn could shift around what he does to fit Gabriel I think that's going to help a lot uh but they I mean they've got the whole offensive line returning they they replace a lot of skill talent but they got a ton of talent I was about to say, like they got, got talent. Dudes. Like no. the defense was a disaster last year, but I just explained it. Like I, I got them going over nine and a half. Yeah, I do too. I do too. Like, I think I, I think it won't shock me if this team finishes with one loss in the regular season. Yeah, to Cincinnati. And I and I think, I think they're my pick to to replay that game. I I could believe that. As much as I like Houston, as much as I like SMU, I I don't I don't foresee them going undefeated. Yeah, yeah, I'm with you. I do, I do see UCF running the table. That's I, I, look. I understand like the non conference is kind of difficult. They got Boise State coming in. They play at Louisville, I think, but I, I, I think, think they could win favored, both. I think they're favored in both those games. I oh, they are going to win yeah. both those games. Yeah, I think I think they're going to win both. Like it's the only game that I really see them losing is Cincinnati. That's the only game that scares me. Yeah. So now they could get got by SMU. Okay. Oh yeah, I mean they could uh, get they, got they by get, Memphis. They can, I mean, what's see, I I don't I, know about Memphis. I don't. I don't. Yeah. I, I I love Memphis, but. I don't. I think they're significantly better than Tulane. They're significantly better than Memphis. Like, the only team outside of Cincinnati that scares me is SMU. Yeah, okay. That's just because Sonny Dykes has been running his system for a long time there. And Gus, Gus is just getting in. we don't know what Gus is going to try to change year one. No, you're, you're 100% right so. there. Thanks for listening to the Winning Cures Everything podcast. The website is winningcureseverything.com, and if you want to connect with us, we're on Twitter, at GaryWCE, at ChrisBGiannini, at Winning Cures, or you can email us, Gary at winningcureseverything.com, or Chris at winningcureseverything.com. Subscribe everywhere you need to subscribe, and we'll see you soon.